Venezuela is going through an economic collapse. Unemployment is at an all-time high, minimum wage is $12.53 a month due to massive inflation, and food shortages have become the norm. This okay. desperate situation has led to mounting tensions and chaos in the streets. Caracas, the nation's capital, is now one of the most dangerous places in the world. But it's not... What is this, Ed, Ed, Nettie? Why does everybody have a picture of Plank? No, really, like, I mean... Am I the first person to fucking see this? Like, wh wh what is this? Why, why is there a Plank? Like, is this a joke or is it just like a weird coincidence? Dangerous places in the world. But it's not as dangerous as the wilderness in RuneScape where Venezuelans are being hunted down every day. These what? are just some of the Venezuelans who have resorted to farming gold in RuneScape in what? order to survive because the conventional job market is so scarce and unreliable in their country. <laughs> what these Venezuelans are it. doing is farming green dragons in the wilderness, which is a PvP area. They farm wow. these dragons because they drop dragon bones and green dragon hides which they can sell on the Grand Exchange for gold. By doing this, they can make around 500,000 RuneScape gold an hour, which tra- But what, wouldn't that, like, because aren't they selling these to their players? So wouldn't they just drive the price down because there's so many of these dragon skins in the, in, in the auction house? Like, it seems like it, they do. Oh, so they're genuinely just, like, ruining the entire economy. Oh, that's great. That, that's really, really cool translates to roughly 50 cents an hour. And while you may think that 50 cents an hour isn't much, it Yes, I would think that. You're right. I I would absolutely think that 50 cents an hour it it, it it's not much. Very true. It's really not. It is better than poverty. An article by an author named Fizzerman explains why farming is worth it for these Venezuelans. Okay. More advanced players will know that repetitively killing the boss Zolra can earn around 3 million gold per hour, two which is about three $2 to $3 an, dollars an hour. hour. At 2 to $3 Holy an hour, this would shit. allow a teenager or young adult to make more money by playing a video game than the majority of college-educated professionals in the country. So I guess it's their version of streaming. That's right, in Venezuela, you don't need an education, you just need RuneScape. What is amazing is the fact that this digital currency still has much more stability than currencies of socialist third world governments. Whoa. For the past few years, RuneScape currency has That's steadily spicy. remained at a little over $1 per 1 million gold, while Venezuelan currency is deprecating significantly by the day. It's not just Venezuelans either. Vice reported on an American kid who claims to have made over $10,000 a month by farming gold in- Look at that fucking smile, dude. Look at this weird ass kid. You look at this kid. Yeah, I bet he did make 10 grand a month farming gold. Like, just look at him. You know that it's true. Like, sometimes, like, it's like, you ever look at somebody and you know if they committed a crime or not? Like, that, that, that's just that's the way it is. Like, it's like if somebody gets accused of something, I just look at him. I know if they did it or not. I'm serious. You just look at him. Boom. There it is. You don't even need a trial. In RuneScape. There was even this Venezuelan article detailing the farming method and how to make money doing it. And according to this Reddit post, that article angered some gold farmers who reportedly issued death threats and doxed the author of the article since he was potentially creating more competition for the farmers. Gold farmers are nothing hey. new to MMO players. The notorious Chinese gold farmers from World of Warcraft yep. were a huge annoyance to millions of WoW players. Similarly to yep. the Venezuelan Chinese gold farmers would do whatever it took to farm and sell gold in order to make a living in the real world. These See, this is what these fuck-ass boys used to do. Is they didn't actually farm out the gold. Yeah, some of them did that. But what they really did is they sent people messages. And they said, hello, you are Blizzard Lucky Players. Please input your password and your account information in order to receive Epic Fly Mount. And out of 100,000 people... There were at least like 50 idiots and they hacked those people's accounts, stole all their shit, 
then they got all the stuff and that's how they made the money. That, that's how you really made money with gold farming and gold selling is you didn't make money by actually earning it. You, you, you hacked accounts. Like hacking accounts, that was the main thing that people would do. Gold farmers would often spam advertise in chat channels yep. and obnoxiously message people in order to promote their gold selling websites. I remember that. Not only that, but gold cheap and fast TA. Gold farming also impacted the in-game economy. For these reasons, the Chinese gold farmers, much like the Venezuelans, were viewed with disdain by many players. Oh wow. One of the more extreme responses to these Venezuelans was a massive thread on the old school RuneScape Reddit, which gave a detailed guide on how to disrupt and kill gold farmers. And a lot of the comments on the thread were pretty hateful, and it seems like most people really don't like these gold farmers. I hope you're okay with sending Juan to school with no lunch. It sounds funny, but it could be reality, lol. That's- I feel like we're- You know like how sometimes shit just becomes so ridiculous and crazy that you think there's no- like, you know how House of Cards went downhill after the 2016 election because there's no way that they could top the actual reality. You, you, you know what I mean? Like, this is basically the same thing. It, it actually is so crazy and ridiculous, the world that we live in. I, 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 do, I don't even, I, it's, it's incredible. Yeah, the clown world. This is incredible what makes it funny. Loved the part where you explained how to insult them in their native language. <laughs> 10 out of 10, great guide, I will go commit genocide on those putas and peros. Make sure in they RuneScape. suffer IRL financially and psychologically laughing what my the fucking fuck? ass off. There seems to be some dehumanizing wow. going on in response to these gold farmers. Holy shit. It's sort of an interesting experiment in human psychology. Because these gold farmers speak a foreign language and they might be annoying some players, they're viewed as the other. There's a clear disconnect between players online and the real lives of others behind Here's the what it is, right? Is they just don't like brown people, probably. And this is one way, this like this one little way that they can fuck them over and it's not completely racist. So they just go crazy about it. Okay, that's all, it's always the way it is. People like, it's like, here's an example, right? It's like, there's a lot of people that, you know, like, I, I don't want to get into this too much. But there's a lot of people that, that you know, they, they don't like women, right, on the internet. And so they don't necessarily go out and complain about the fact that it's a female out there. But as soon as the girl does something wrong, yeah, Squad W, boys, my man. Um, the girl does something wrong. People act like she, like, she killed a baby. So it's like just the, it, it's the, the intensity of the criticism and the response. Where it's like one dude can do something that's completely fucking fine. But as soon as this girl does it that people don't like, whoo, popping off. Reddit threads, everybody's mad. All right, just pay attention. It happens all the time. Uh, I'll give you an example even. So like uh, on the MDI, right? On the MDI. Like Nagura's on the MDI. Any, even the slightest thing that Nagura does wrong, people get really mad about it. And they're like, oh, we don't like her for that. But other people fuck up all the time on the MDI. And it's fine. Like, I, I mean, I, I am probably the least, I'm probably one of the least, like, SJW people out there. Nobody's going to tell me that I can't see what's in plain sight. It's obvious that's what's going on. It's obvious. Computer screen. This has always been a contributing factor as to why people act differently towards each other online, but yeah. in this particular scenario, it can actually affect people's livelihoods. Given all of this madness, I decided to contact a Venezuelan player and hear things from his perspective. Hola. Hi. Hola, mira. Eh, bueno, ya sabrás quién es Greg, ¿no? Okay. Does he know any people, any other Venezuelans who do it for a job? This is a good video. I love it. True. True. He says when I have fun playing RuneScape. 
Has you ever received a lot of negativity or hate from other players because he's Venezuelan and because he's farming? Yeah. There are RuneScape players who are writing guides on how to kill farmers and specifically Venezuelan farmers. What does he think about that? Does it's that just make so him ridiculous. Feel sort of uh, targeted in the community. Ah, sí, es por como te dije que hay gente que le tiene rabia okay. a, a los venezolanos que se la pasan más que todo en green porque wow. piensan que están haciendo es dinero y están perjudicando a a los venezolanos. And I think Entonces, they, they think all Venezuelans are the same. Igual. Even between the Venezuelans there's really? a lot of familiar. competition. Sí, ahí también clanes que estamos unidos para as ridiculous as it may wait a second does that mean they're having race wars in 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 runescape what the fuck dude that i i should play this game this game seems awesome <laughs> Oh my god, this is more of a real life game than real life is. So we're having literal race wars in RuneScape. I love it. This is what the internet was built for. To have virtual race wars. Oh my god, this is great. It's, it's a joke, by the way. Okay, for anybody that's watching, it's, it's, it's a joke. Okay, it's just calm the fuck down. Obviously, yeah. I don't want actual race wars. Okay. Sound clicking on these dragons may be the only source of income for some Venezuelans. But in order to make a profit, these Venezuelans must first sell their gold, and that's where these gold selling websites come into play. Take okay. the professionals at papusgold.com, for example. They deal in Bitcoin and runescape 2007 gold you know hey, the, the next other. major player on the market and they even have a listing of all of the employees on the website these are the starving faces of the hard-working venezuelan gold farmers these are the people you're hurting when you mess with them farming green dragon no these are the people that are making all the fucking money and these people sell the gold for a lot more money and then they buy it off of the gold farmers for like nothing and so these guys are actually living a great life this guy you know like uh Mokadasius, whoever the fuck this guy is with the uh, hairline that's probably about as bad as mine, this dude probably owns two cars. Guaranteed, probably owns two fucking cars. CEO? No, never mind. Three cars. Three fucking cars. And one of them probably was made after 2000. This guy's living high on the hog. Just look into their eyes. You have Maukaisius, the CEO. He looks like a hardworking and professional businessman. He sure the is. brains of the operation. And Kathy. Kathy looks like she's on the verge of tears, but she's still hanging on. She's what a brave soul. And we hard. have Jesus. If Venezuela Wait. ever needed a miracle from God, Wait. now would be the time. And finally, gone. Because if this gold selling business doesn't work out, all hope is gone. Okay. Venezuela is going through some hard times right now, and for some, farming green dragons in RuneScape is their only means of survival. Behind these pixels are real people with real families dealing with real struggles. Unless they're bots, in which case they're computer programs. But most of these players are real Venezuelans this is incredible. real people who deserve to be treated as such. So the next time you find yourself playing RuneScape and you just so happen to be in the wilderness seeing players farm green dragons, maybe just leave them alone. You might be saving a life. But a little PK never hurt anyone. <laughs> hey! Yeah, there it is. Oh, yeah! Wow. Oh, oh shit! Oh shit! I'm a gold farmer, motherfucker. Okay, dude. That that was actually really good. Like Glink makes amazing videos. I, I've always been a big supporter of his videos ever since the the very beginning. And uh, he, uh, honestly, one of the best decisions he ever made was starting making videos instead of uh, 
you, you know, like streaming like games. You know, I, I really, really like his videos a lot. Okay. Here's the point. People are being murdered by their own Venezuelan government. Well, thank God I'm, thank God I'm an American. Okay. Like, I mean, yeah, it's probably a shithole over there. Like, I mean, if, if, if farming RuneScape gold is a viable profession for any normal adult in a country, then the country is probably a shithole. Like, I'm just going to say, I mean, like, let's be real. Like, it's, the economy's terrible, they can't afford anything, and it just sucks. Like, yeah, and, and like, that's not even specific to any, like, one country. Just, like, any country where farming gold is a viable alternative to getting a job, then, yeah, I'd say it's probably a shitty country. Look at that Tinder bio. Yeah, I wonder if they have Tinder over there. I don't even know if they have, I, I, I have no idea. Literally, I don't know anything about Venezuela. No clue whatsoever. Look up RuneScape Gay Pride event. I, I don't want to look up a RuneScape gay pride event. I mean, that just seems like bullshit to me, and I, I don't really give a fuck about that, to be honest. Uh, of course I do. What's your thoughts on Project Ascension? Isn't that the, the server where you can just play with, like, any different, any different types of, like, uh, like abilities and stuff? I, I, I don't really like that a lot, okay? I'm not a fan. 